He has a very fast ZR1 Corvette that he raced up against our 720S. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite fast enough for that car that night, and I think he might have gotten his feelings hurt. But he called me, he told me he has a car that he just picked up that is allegedly faster than even my fastest street car, which is this GT350 right here. It makes well over a thousand wheel horsepower. It has a Motec trash control system. It's got a built transmission, a built engine, everything front to back. This car is awesome. It's a rocket ship. But like I said, apparently he picked up something even faster. So by the end of the video, I think we're gonna find out if that's true or not. Let's go see what he's got. He ain't gonna have nothing as cool as this. Literally pulls up in another twin turbo Mustang. <laughs> That'd be funny. Two seconds later. What is that? Oh no way, dude. Oh my god. That is okay. All right. Colton. Jesus Lord. What in the But first guys, before we get into today's video, this video is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon's everyday, oh my God, I feel like I'm talking so loud with these in. They cancel really good actually. Raycon's everyday earbuds are made to make your everyday life easier. For example, the everyday earbuds now feature a 32 hour battery life and they even have multi-point connectivity that lets you connect two devices at once. There's also active noise cancellation, which definitely helps with long flights or noisy situations. Raycon's everyday earbuds are available in a variety of different vibrant colors to complement any and all skin tones. I've really been loving this cool protective case as well. It's a very, very awesome design. And the coolest part about it is that I don't even have to take the cover off to get 90 minutes of battery and only 10 minutes of charging. So guys, if you have a noisy life, make sure you go to buyraycon.com slash it's just a six to get 20 to 50% off site wide. That is correct. Up to 50% off Raycon products by going to buyraycon.com slash it's just a six. Thanks. Well, it looks like he bought a GT500 and it sounds like it's got twin turbos on it. So that makes me think next step is that it's probably not stock ECU, is it? Nope. Oh, it's on good old Motet. No. Oh, oh God, dude. That is sick. If you guys remember the old red GT500 that we had? He was the actual buyer for that car. That's where that car went. Catch and 1.0. Yeah, that was literally the reason that we were able to get into this house here. So thank you. But <laughs> fast forward a little bit. And he picked up a much, 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 much nicer GT500. Oh my God, not the carbon manifold, bro. I'm the Mustang YouTuber. You can't flex on me like this. This is sick. We need to go roll racing people. Yeah. Bro, we need to bring these two cars out on that damn two car hauler back there and go gas some folks. Running Hellion 64, 66. <laughs> Dog, that has Hellion 64s on it. We just threw those on this car. There you go. You guys were wondering. <laughs> that's how capable this car is. You guys probably don't realize it because it's only on three pounds of boost right now. But like, dude, it it's could be an fast. absolute monster with just a little they, tune. Um, Do you know how much power it ended up making? It probably did like, well, is it stock engine first off? It's stock block. Okay. So 1300 to the wheels. Okay. That's really saucy. But it has, the, because of the Motec, it has the normal sport and track, and for each different mode, it has different levels of boost. Yep. And it's on, I can run flex in it, so I can run 93. Dude, it's straight up the same as the GT350 then, but yep. just like the auto DCT version. Can we spin it around, and can I put it on the lift and yeah, look at it? Go ahead. And inside, it's got a carbon wheel, of course, with the matching stripe, but look at the freaking dash. This is a sick ass spec. I better not have a ghost cam too. It's gonna be just I like my shit. It. No way! I gotta look under this. Wow, this is insane because legitimately, this is the same exact kit we just installed on the blue car the other mm -hmm. night. The wastegates are in the same spot. 
They just have heat shielding over the hot side, which is nice. You can do that, but especially once you're making this power. Goodness. Dang, dude. Got Corsa exhaust, carbon everything. Yeah, that's. I, I can't even critique anything because this is all perfect, honestly. This is exactly how I would do it. Brother, tell me why I'm just clicking. We saw this car before you bought it. This car was talking smack to us about how they were going to beat the GT350 and everything. Allegedly, then it was for sale, so he couldn't race it. And then now you have the same car. I'm yeah. just thinking about it. And now here it is on our lift. <laughs> All right, I can't take it. I got to know. <laughs> we're going to see how much this car weighs compared to the GT350. The 350 is very light, but these two make the same amount of power. So I'm curious how this could even go. I've got these nice little corner scales. Alrighty, moment of truth. Colton, you ready to see? Let's see what it does. Let's drop it down. Zero pounds, it is zeroed out at the moment. This car makes 1300 horsepower and only weighs, oh no is way. Total? Yes it is, no shot that that's that light dude. 3863. I have this entire time thought that these GT500s, especially with a build, <coughs> would be right at about 4,200 pounds, but apparently I've been 400 pounds off this whole time. One thing to mention though, to be fair, this does have a twin turbo setup, so that whole supercharger that's pretty heavy got removed off of there and replaced with a pretty lightweight turbo kit. So, so. right at about 4,000 with me in it and my chair. Yep. 4,000 pounds rolling down the road with 1,300 wheel horsepower and traction control. <laughs> You got beat locks for it too? Mm -hmm. I was looking Did at these, I was like, the, um... three weeks later. Of course, to make it a closer race, Colt wanted to get his bead locks and drag tires put on. So in the meantime, we got concrete poured. And before we get into racing the car, I've got a few things to do with it. But first, I gotta remind you guys, right now, if you go to itsjustasix.com, you can get $800 in additional entries. We launched that today, as well as some new products here. <laughs> These look so good, they're really cool. But if you go to itsjustasix.com, every single order is gonna get you $800 in additional entries to win either our twin turbo Mustang or our twin turbo BMW M4. So you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this, but now let's go ahead and get into the video, doing a few things to the car and then going out and finding out which one is fastest. Before we go out and race the GT350, it is time to take one more step towards making this thing a race car. As you guys see, I've got a battery here that has taken a crap on me and it is not the very first one as you see by this entire collection here these are in fact all from this car and it's because of the fact that it has motec so it has a much higher draw than what the factory ecu and the factory electronics do we have so much electronics on board this car it's goofy even an air compressor back here so the stock batteries have been just getting eaten up obviously one by one until I just got so freaking tired of it. And luckily for race cars like this, there is a solution for battery problems. And it is this, this anti-gravity battery right here. This is some pretty sweet technology here. As you guys can see, left-handed, this is like one of the lightest batteries, obviously I've ever felt. This is a lithium battery. It has a ton of really helpful features for cars like this, such as a restart. And as you guys can see, it's got key fobs here. And basically what this means is if your car draws all of the power out of the battery and it's completely dead there is actually a jump start feature so it's got like a built-in jump starter to get the car back started and then once it's running as long as it's charging for about 45 minutes this battery will be fully charged again they are eco-friendly no lead or acid double the life cycle the normal lead acid battery so that's good low self discharge you can store this thing for over a year i don't drive this car that often so we really only drive it to beat on it so realistically, having that feature is awesome. And of course, the main thing that everybody knows these nice lithium batteries for is their weight savings, up to 70% weight savings. So if you have a lightweight car and you're trying to save more weight and go faster, this is it. Like, look, I'm holding that with my thumb. Pretty cool stuff, man. And actually, every car inside the shop right now is getting one of these batteries i just realized huge thanks to anti-gravity batteries for sending these over we've got three of these going in all three of these cars here we've got the drift car battery we've got the drag car battery and of course lucifer's battery here and installing this thing obviously is just as easy as what a normal battery would be too i'm probably not going to use the threaded terminals at the top but it is really nice that they have that there just in case you wanted to all right positive connected now we can tighten that down perfect and the negative lead 
And obviously I have this quick disconnect here from the past batteries that I've obviously gone through a ton. I tried to install that, hoping that I could just disconnect the battery and save these batteries each time. But unfortunately the amp draw of this car just didn't save them. So still took a crap on me, but oh well. Negative terminal is connected as well. Let's go ahead and clip that in. And I wonder if it's working. I mean, it should be working. Look at there. Heck yeah. Dang, works just like a normal battery, of course. So yeah, lights and everything back on, dude. If you guys remember, it's always taken a long time to get this car started up. It's always been slow to turn over. It's always been wah, 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 wah. It's just stupid goofy. All of these batteries, let's see, 770 cranking amps, 870 cranking amps, 760 cranking amps. Pretty good amount of cranking amps for sure, but still not quite enough for this car. Luckily, this one's got 1500 cranking amps, 1500. It is double the cranking amps of those batteries in a much smaller, more compact package. Way lighter too. All right, let's see if it starts up. I think it's gonna start up. I think it's gonna start up faster. We just put a lithium battery in here. You wanna see how hard, how fast it's gonna start? Dang, definitely a much quicker startup now. That is awesome. I love getting this car out, man. This is the car that everybody is so scared of. Everybody normally ducks runs with this thing. I can't race anybody with this car for the most part. I'm happy that we finally have a close run today. I don't know how many times I have spilled fuel on this thing while fueling it up. But for the first time now, I'm gonna be able to fuel this thing up without spilling a thing. Look at this. Oh, well, well, well. Oh yeah, no more spill. All right, looks like it's full in there so we can cut that off. And there we go, all fueled up, ready to go. Now we wait for Colton to get back over here. Dang, it looks way different with the drag back on the back, dude. Damn. Hey, I really like it with the drag back. That looks cool. You got some new designs? Hell yeah. Awesome. So that's embroidered. Dang. And then on the back, we have this super sweet message. I love that. Dear person behind me, I know things are tough, but there are brighter days ahead of you. Don't lose sight. Love the person in front of you. Dude, tell me that if you're saying in the line somewhere. That's so cool. This one, I personally like this one. The upside down and upside. Yeah, that's really cool. That's embroidered on the front and then printed on the back. Heck yeah, I like that one. Mm -hmm. New designs, yeah. New designs. New right. designs. Last one. Oh, I like the color of that one. Mm -hmm. That one mine? Yep, Hell all, of, yeah. all of these are yours. Ooh. Oh yeah, no, I really like that one. That one looks really cool. Hell yeah. Again, guys, you can go to it's just six.com, pick up some of those new designs that we just are probably gonna launch in this video. And just by picking up a new t-shirt or a hoodie, it's gonna get you entries into win either our twin turbo S650 Mustang or our twin turbo BMW M4. Now it is finally time to go run the Motec twin turbo GT500 versus the Motec twin turbo GT350. Shelby on Shelby crime going on one way or another today stick shift dct i mean by every default these cars make about the same power but technically the orange gt500 should win so i don't know how this is going to go honestly how you think it's going to go you go out to kick my ass yep <laughs> all righty dude that battery is so nice starts right up now do we weigh less oh yeah the 500s are way heavier than 350s my real guess i'm pretty sure we're probably going to win every race but i don't know yeah so just like Jess was saying, technically this car does weigh pretty good a bit less than the GT500s do, but that's an automatic car. This is a manual car, of course, so I've got a shift where he's got to click a button and instantly be in the next gear, already at full power. So it's going to be tough. I'm going to have to try my best here. All right, we have officially made it out to Mexico. We're on some nice concrete roads now. We're going to wait till we get a good break in traffic, and we're going to see how this goes. Cross my fingers. Please, God, keep us safe.
Definitely spin a little bit. Oh yeah. Good stuff, my boy. Good stuff. Round two. Fight. It's just you you can see it we're spinning already yeah, like we don't need to turn it up more yeah. it's already fast as fuck we need suspension under the car is what we need i think that's the funniest part it's still completely stock suspension man <laughs> the gt 500s have insane updated suspension too yeah. that's why he was saying he hooks really good we don't and we are officially back to the house from a little mexico trip that was fun. I wonder what he's gonna say. I'm really curious to see his take on that. I will say, I haven't had anybody race this car that whenever I get out, they don't say a million reasons of why they lost against it. So, I'm curious. <laughs> why? Why? Yeah, I just wasn't getting a good start. We weren't launching at the same time. I'll be down to rerun it though. I really would. I really, really would. I think would. we both leave the same time. It'd be dead easy. Ooh. Holy fuck! <laughs> Ghoul. Yeah, I'm not even... Look, bro. Like, straight up, that's horsepower. Like, if you look at the... We have the same tires. If you look, it's barely... It's barely rolling rubber right here. This is fucking destroying the tires. 
Yeah, your shit's quick, but... It is fat. I ain't even gonna play. I ain't even gonna play. You know I'm not lying too because it's all on video, but I had it at 1100 wheel that whole time. Never even turned it up to 1350. We had an 1100 in the uh, track mode instead of drag mode. It's so light though, and First it's geared. Two races, I had it in track, and then I put it in drag. Yeah. It seemed like it was doing great. It just for the weight of the car, for the wing on the back. Are you second or third? I start in second, but it's a manual. Yeah, I did third most of it, so maybe if I go down to second. Possible. And roll and roll on the anti leg more. It, it just. It just depends like on how it's geared, because I don't know how that. These are eight speeds. Seven and seven speeds. Okay. Whenever I came up to you before that one bridge, I dropped it and when it lurched forward, yeah, that's when I was going in the second. Heck yeah, that car is wicked, bro. I really am honestly impressed at the fact that it was even able to keep up. Like, no lie, this car is fucking atrociously fast. Like, I, I know it, but I, I'm always impressed just to see anything be able to hold with it. So, hell yeah, good driving though. Good stuff. I'm gonna figure out how that anti lag shit, like how it works. Yeah. You just hold it, and then whenever you're ready, you just let it go. Yeah, and that's the thing is when I'm ready, you're already wanting to, like, take it off. And I'm yeah. Like, I ain't on ready. three. Leave on three. And let go of the button right on three. And once we start doing the anti like I can't hear. Yeah, so, I know. Jess needs a microphone. A megaphone, yeah. <laughs> he said you need a megaphone. You were too quiet. I'm sure. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> Yeah, no. Good luck. That was some of the closest runs though I've had in a really long time. That was awesome. That one run was pretty close, and then one you should, you have the top end. Yeah, it it, it is. You have the bigger turbos. Well, it's geared different too, so that's what I was gonna say. The transmission, each gear in the trans is geared specifically for what we're doing by tick performance, and then the rear end has a different ratio in it too. So, it only gets faster the more mile per hour it gets, based on how it's geared. Yeah, so. Tell too yeah but that first initial start it's just sluggish and doesn't really want to go yeah it seemed like this was doing great down low like 40 50 rolls this thing felt like it was kicking ass chewed out by justin for this why we're not beating you oh i hope he wasn't thinking that he you were he sent a killer on me or what he didn't want to race me himself no he just he wanted i was <laughs> we tell him bring his car over here and come race me quit sending people buying you bought this car to come race me or what I want this car to just have fun. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. I'm just joking. I've been calling him out for like three years almost now in this same car. And I've I've raced so many people. I've raced so many people, bro. I can't get him to run me though. And I swear to God, I swear to God, that's 1100 wheel. It's got another 250 horsepower in it. I swear to God. But I wow. can't, if you see the tires though, bro, I can't even hook. Like it's, it's even with the Motec, it's getting loose. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. Yeah, you spun a few times. Yeah, spinning and banging the next gear, just still spinning, banging the next gear. I hope Justin's not mad at you. I think that's about fair. I thought that was a pretty good run, honestly. It's all good and fun, win or lose. Hell yeah. I have more fun losing races because I already know how fast the cars that I have are. So if I see people beating them, bro, that's the happiest feeling in the world to me because I get to see something perform more than what I'm, like, I guess what I've ever seen, so. It hooks good, I bet, because of this wing. It's putting so much force on those rear tires, it's holding great. But I think if you did suspension and a less of a wing, it would have uh, less drag efficient and hook great, so. All right, bro, I'll see you later. And there it goes, man. One of the most beautiful GT500s that I have gotten to see in person. Legitimately, probably my new favorite GT500, I gotta say. Like, this one is, this one's outrageous, man. All the carbon, all the everything. Oh yeah, and the Motec. That thing sounds damn good. <laughs> well, there we go. Win or lose, racing is just something that we enjoy doing and I'm super happy with him having a positive attitude through it. That's really, really cool, man, seriously. You're not always gonna have the fastest car, but in this case, you might. Cause that thing is gonna be very nasty very soon. But for right now, not enough for the old GT350 yet. Not enough yet. I gotta say, I can't believe at how those races went, man. At all. I'm legitimately stunned. How many car lengths are you guessing? Car lengths? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know we were measuring in lengths. <laughs> I'll put it this way. I'm filming, you know, out the window. I, I would have to put it out of the window to see where he is. Yeah. Uh, 
I really do love this car, man. It is absolutely one of my favorite cars on the channel. I know it's you guys' favorite too, so. Make sure you smash that like button for me. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see with this next. Should we do suspension on it? I, I know we really should, but. After suspension, we'll finally be able to turn this car up to the full power that it has been able to make since day one. Hopefully, once we make some changes, this 1100 wheel horsepower will not be spinning this badly. Either way though, this car is already a blast. I love it to death. Huge shout out to anti-gravity batteries for giving us this amazing battery that has started this car great so far. And I think that, you know, that's how, that was why. That was why we won, I forgot. We put the lighter battery, duh. But anyways, I will see you guys next upload, which is actually starting this up, right? Yeah, right now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Adios. See you next video. We gotta, we gotta film another one, so.